let's make those girls look more 2021. I'm sure their outfits are not that comfortable to be honest so i decided that i'm gonna do like a series so i have a list here uh i have cinderella i have snow white i have mulan when it was not a princess tiana pocahontas and jasmine who's my favorite by the way like i don't have a favorite princess so i was thinking if i wanted to uh restyle these princesses based on the colors and the style of outfits they're wearing but I think that's gonna be boring so i'm just gonna add a little bit of you know like their personalities although like snow white doesn't have a personality like that bitch was just sitting there all the time i, I have no like is she, how is she like is she nice is she funny she was just sleeping cleaning all the time like i have no idea what that bitch does so i'm just gonna rely on the colors she's wearing but other than that like i have no idea what to do with her like why did they make her like is she the, i think she's the first princess and she is very plain if you tell me snow white is your favorite princess like i i don't understand it like why why would she be anyone's favorite princess anyways i don't want to drag her to filth but she deserves it i mean she didn't do anything she doesn't but i'm rambling anyways okay so let's start with cinderella so they did like a second cinderella and a third one and she was actually pretty fun like i like her she looked like a smart chick all right so for cinderella she looks preppy she looks nice she looks like good to go she looks like she's good at her studies uh she's in a university she is fresh and kind and she smells like flowers the top is very cozy very soft and it shows a little bit of shoulders very feminine light blue because she wears light blue that's her color obviously the skirt it has weird little faces so i don't know i just thought about those mice it's kind of sad that her friends are mice but you know you get what i'm saying i don't know i just pictured them as human beings and I'm not making any sense right now but anyways so for the shoes i picked these comfortable boots because she is someone who is feminine but at the same time doesn't uh like to be too feminine if you watch the second and third cinderella you will understand what i'm saying i tried to do some dance moves but i just can't for the life of me so excuse this moment of the video i am doing my best i'm trying my best here for the accessories i gave her the pearls because in the first cinderella we see that uh the mice were trying to get her pearls to go to the ball wow i am such a genius and this is an old bag that i have um i honestly never thought that i would use it ever again but it fits perfectly with the style and the beret i gave her the beret um because my hair is a mess today all right so next one is snow white i am the least excited for this bitch like i am not gonna lie like i can spend i can do a video on why i don't like snow white because there's so many things i don't like about her she barely has features on her face like i know that this was like something that was created in the 20s but still even those doors have more personality than her she's the main character but she's not very present at all who marries someone they barely know like they they actually never talked he literally kissed her while she was sleeping which is fucking creepy and then she woke up and she was like oh my god let's get married and go to your castle isn't that fucking weird first time they met she was just singing and then she saw him and then she ran away like they didn't even have a conversation, not even like small talk. Who does that? No one. You have to be a retard to do that. I'm gonna be nice and give her a personality and a good outfit, but also because frankly, I don't own any ugly outfits. All right, so this is Snow White's fit. I gave her a life, I gave her a personality. She's wearing patterns because plain people don't really wear different patterns at the same time. And they frankly would never know how to do that either. Snow White's colors are obviously blue and red and yellow. And this outfit has all these colors. This is perfect. Also, I'm wearing my chunky boots and I put this uh, blanket on the floor because i am not gonna dirty my carpet so these chunky boots are pretty comfortable and she's running into woods tripping balls that was really thoughtful of me it shows a little bit of shoulder and also i gave her this uh, necklace that says angel because you know like she's too innocent she's an angel or whatever so i googled her and she was apparently 14 which is pretty fucked up like who gets married at 14 so basically i've been bashing this um kid for five minutes straight now but yeah that was it for her you're welcome snow white next okay so the next one I'm very excited for this one actually it's mulan Ooh. the opposite of snow white she is this warrior strong independent woman super strong physically mentally 
um she does her own thing she's not scared the second i wore this outfit i was like oh my god i feel like a bad bitch it's very feminine but at the same time it's like femme fatale type of outfit because you know like we have leather we have like a corset the corset holds my body like properly it just gives me like this good posture and my favorite thing ever is this corset it has the chinese pattern also has red which is mulan's color i love me some high waist pants the leather pants just tighten my booty and my legs and everything i didn't want to give her a beret or anything like that because that's more classy uh soft look this is more of an edgy look the chunky boots because well obviously she's a warrior and we have the tiny little purse because mula doesn't need a lot of shit in her bag you know obviously the necklace which is a reference to Mushu or Muchu I don't know anyways it's the dragon friend that she has also I gave her a blazer because you know we love some layering we love to give her a little bit of pizzazz it gives more dimension to this outfit wow look at me using some fancy oars right here honestly this corset is my favorite thing ever because it kind of reminds me of that armor that she was wearing because it's kind of tight and you know kind of uncomfortable but at the same time it's pretty and also it like flattens my boobies a little bit which is something that she was doing during the movie we're here to show some cleavage some boobies some booty you know this is mulan when her you know like army whatever days are over now she is embracing who she is i think we got the general idea of what i tried to do with this outfit all right ladies and gentlemen next one is tiana i'm just so glad that the recent princesses have more personality i just love that well actually Belle was kind of smart too but not so much because she fell in love with uh, literally an animal. Oh, Tiana, she was this businesswoman, right? So she was very independent. She had big dreams. She was a dreamer. So I'm picturing her to be kind of nerdy, right? She has like this pre and post um, being a princess. So before she was like this, this super independent woman who wanted to open her restaurant. Then you have her when she was a princess. I see her in two different outfits. I think the story took place in the 20s. So I was like, you know what? Let me just mix that businesswoman type of style with like newspaper boy type of style or like some business casual type of outfit someone who owns a cafe would wear every day to go to work you know what i'm saying because that was her dream also because tiana's color is green i decided to add this green tiny purse this is very similar to my personal style i would definitely wear this this is like in the list of the things that i would wear outside and take a cute instagram picture so this is how i see tiana pre being a princess this is after she became a princess but like in 2021 okay like she is a tiktoker she is a teenager and she's just living her best life obviously we gave her the green this shirt was like the perfect shirt for tiana because you know when she's a princess she's wearing those like puffy shoulders but they kind of look old school so i decided to just lower them just have this um shoulder moment again this white skirt i don't have to worry about anything i could literally do a backflip and just be completely safe i give her this yellow beret those sorbet colors are very popular in 2021 they're very trendy so i was like you know what let's just make her as modern as possible also i give her this cute little necklace with a small butterfly i don't know it's just a very delicate cute touch to the whole outfit the first outfit represents her personality a little bit more but that nice sweet kind side of her would be this one all right so for the next princess we have Pocahontas I honestly love her like mm, gorgeous because first of all that hair okay and he's a free spirit I don't know I just love everything about her all right so the way i see pocahontas in 2021 is this businesswoman super successful owns millions of businesses uh knows exactly what she's doing also doesn't carry a bag or a purse because she hires people to do that for her the whole outfit screams boss ass bitch laser the hat and the 60s sunglasses obviously i give her the big hat because you know bosses always wear the biggest hats if this was my boss i would have been super intimidated and would have been super scared you can't be dressed like this and expect anyone to disrespect you all right so last but not least we have jasmine oh she has a fucking tiger as a pet so there's that i would assume that she is very rich so let's make her 
a rich bitch, okay? What does she wear though? She wears blue as well. Let me see what I can come up with. She smells like money. She looks like money. She talks money. She is money. She is that old money. She has the fancy looking coat, you know, like that rich blue coat, the crocodile leather pants, the blue silk shirt that just shines in the light. The silk corset, obviously, and the super rich looking beret. We gave her the jasmine earrings, obviously, and she has like a bunch of gold necklaces because obviously she could afford those. Some people might think that her style is tacky, but she's too rich to even give a shit about these opinions. But what she does know when she's walking down the street is the fact that her outfit costs more than your average middle class house. All right, oh my God, I am exhausted. I am exhausted, I am tired well i hope that you guys liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any other suggestions about videos i should make about fashion let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next sunday bye